Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris, this is Restoration Rescue, and in today's video, we're gonna be sandblasting. Let's hit it. All right guys, so the sandblaster we bought is the Central Pneumatic from Harbor Freight. It was about $150 in comparison to other um, ones on the line for a little bit bigger. This is the 110 pound one. It was like $400 for the bigger one from Eastwood and whatnot. So we decided with this one, especially we could get it literally the, like a day ago if we really wanted to. Uh, wasn't that hard to put together. Obviously we just threw on the, uh, the little handles and put the little tires on it. Today we're gonna be using a black diamond uh, coal slag abrasive. Uh, we have never sandblasted our lives before. So we're gonna be learning just like you guys are. So let's hopefully we don't fail on this one like we have in the past. So let's do it. All right, so one thing about this is that you need some pretty good air pressure. I know I did a review a couple months ago or a year ago on the Cobalt. Unfortunately, the Cobalt doesn't put enough CFM out to handle this. You need probably anywhere from 10 to 20 PSI. Our brand new air compressor holds up to about 13. So we're gonna give it a shot with this new air compressor. Obviously, I'm not made of money, so I couldn't go out and buy one that makes 25, 30 PSI. So what's good about this one it was cheap but the one problem we did run into is what we saw online is the hood that it comes with is is useless so we went out and bought these at our local home depot and a do-rag which they say is a lot better so it keeps all the sand out of your eyes and out of your neck and off your hair All right guys, so that worked really well. What we put in already, I think we're already out, which that was really quick. We're gonna have to uh, recycle a lot of this. Um, from what I hear, you can recycle the uh, media a couple times until it kind of stops working. A uh, little weird thing is it is a little rainy. It's not supposed to rain today, but um, that could clog it up a little bit, but we're gonna refill this thing. And when we do it, we're gonna come back over here and uh, not step on my mask, but uh, we pull this to release a lot of air. The valve. You gotta make sure your valves are that. <laughs> you gotta make sure your valves are down. Otherwise, if you do this, it's gonna keep putting air back in. So make sure they're down and shut off before you do that. Don't just unscrew this. You unscrew this, it's gonna blow sand right up in your face and might go blind. So make sure you release the pressure. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> All right, so guys, we're, we're going on our way back to Tractor Supply. So the two bags that we bought, we ran through in probably about 10 minutes of sandblasting. It didn't get us that far. It'd be a whole lot better if we had a confined space to do it in because obviously our sand is going all over the place. It's a little rainy, so we're not really, you know, pumped about putting it right back into the, the machine because uh, it'll clog up and we wouldn't be able to use it anyway. So we got a local tractor supply like 10 minutes up the street, so we're headed there and we're gonna pick up some more bags and we're gonna continue sandblasting. All right, guys. So we just got back from Harbor Freight, sorry, tractor supply, where we got 10 bags of black diamond. Uh, they didn't have the fine grit, so we're gonna go with the medium this time. Hopefully 10 bags will take us through a lot more of this. So let's load this thing up and let's start shooting. Thank you. 
right, guys. So we ran into a little bit of an issue. We had bought a used um, sandblaster, which ended up having previous sand in it. And you can see it's this, this tannish, like this one, the very thick stuff. So I believe it was ca uh, causing it to clog. So then the first sand that we used is this like, almost looks like beach sand or a uh, like sand that you'd play in a kid thing. And then we have the black coal that we were using. I think the black coal was a little big, but it might work. But what we're gonna do is uh, today, we're gonna wrap up today's video, we're gonna clean up. But as you can see on the frame, it actually did a really good job as far as it was going until it was getting clogged a little bit. Um, as you can see down here, we did kind of waste a little bit of sand with all the clogging that happened. But uh, we're gonna regroup, we're gonna come back this out another day and we're gonna tear the rest of this thing down, get it sandblasted and get it painted. So make sure you stick around at Restoration Rescue. Thank you.